Hey Vaspan, have you played Days Gone? No, I haven't. Have you played The Last of Us? Yes, I have. Have you played Far Cry? Yes, I have. State of Decay? Yes. You played Days Gone? Oh. Yeah, this is like a much kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing going. I've heard that complaint going around pretty often that uh, people feel like they've played Days Gone already. Yeah, the moment you started, it's yeah. taking uh, the narrative devices from The Last of Us. It's got the open world of a Far Cry, complete with like bandit camps that have smoke clouds on them so you can see them from a distance. But isn't this a zombie game? There are zombies in it. That's where the State of Decay and the Last of Us stuff comes in. Alright. So, okay. The main difference I've seen from the footage is that there's a bike. Yeah, uh, that's how you primarily travel from point to point. Uh, basically, the map will always mark where you park your bike, so that's pretty cool. But like, you have to manage uh, your fuel, you can upgrade the bike, all that stuff. But like, it's, it never goes deep into that stuff and the bike kind of handles like garbage. And uh, even the PS4 Pro suffers in the frame rate department when you're riding the bike. Damn. What about the zombie hordes? The hordes are cool. I think that's just about the coolest thing about Days Gone. That, that's it? Yeah, I mean, uh, there are different types of zombies. They're special infected. They're called Freakers, by the way. But, that's uh, new? Yeah, <laughs> they're still zombies. It's still the same. Uh, you clear out nests by destroying their nests with Molotov cocktails and... In fact, uh, it's pretty interesting how that plays a role in the fast travel system because like you can't fast travel between two points if there's like a zombie nest in the mid uh, middle so you'll have, have to go through there and clear it out. Mm. So that's... Th this game does some interesting things here and there but it's just drowning in mediocrity otherwise. Okay, Sony games are usually good with story. How about... What's the story like? It's very Sons of Anarchy with The Walking Dead or oh, humans are the real monsters. No, zombies are the real monsters and... It even starts like The Last of Us did, like just when the zombie apocalypse is starting and the protagonist losing a loved one. It's all pretty, it feels very hollow, honestly. With dumb lines, by the way. The writing is very stupid at places. Okay, what about the combat? How's that? The melee is fine, but I think that's because it takes a lot of cues from The Last of Us. So you can craft things on the, uh, on the go, you pick up melee weapons on the go, you can upgrade them on the go. Okay, I know, I know what you mean. It does feel like I've played this game before. Yeah, but the gunplay is not that good. It, the guns feel very weak. I mean, yeah, you'll kill everything in two to three bullets at most, but the guns still, they don't have the sound or the recoil. There's no impact to your bullets. So that kind of sucks. Okay, what about the open world? The open world is, I think, one of the cooler aspects of Days Gone. It's uh, got a good range of, uh, you know, biomes. Like there's a desert area and there's a forest area where you start the game, in fact. And one of the cooler things about this game is the dynamic weather system, where you'll when it starts to snow, you'll actually see snow accumulate and that'll actually change how you ride your bike because the handling will be affected even more than the bike garbage handling to begin with. But it's one of the cooler things out there. But uh, again, it's like even the open world takes so many things from other games, other better games. Like, uh, you, again, like the, you'll see lots of bandit camps and you'll see Nero camps where you can go and get a permanent life upgrade or energy upgrade, that kind of stuff. I mean, we're even struggling to think of things to talk about in this game. I think that is a really big sign about what it's like. I mean, I said this in my article, but uh, I think Days Gone is going to be the most video game this year. It's got just a lot of mechanics and things in it, and maybe it'll get better down the line, but right now I don't think it's worth playing at all. But not enough mechanics to fix your bike. <laughs> yeah, no, that was bad. Sorry. Uh, I guess that's all we have. That's all the game has. Trust me on this. Alright then, for more stuff on Days Gone, stay tuned to IGN India. If you manage to find more stuff on Days Gone.